this is the bone and uh, this is uh, the uh, this particular niche is called uh, uh, the endosteal niche endosteal niche in the endosteal niche there will be cells that is in fact uh, they are n category in positive n category in positive uh, cd45 negative osteoblasts osteoblasts they act as a the cellular form of of course uh, the niche and then there will be of course uh, other osteoblasts are here and uh, these are the hscs that are attached so suppose this is the one this is the hsc that is a hematopoietic stem cell the markers for the hematopoietic stem cells here is of course uh, type 2 uh, positive uh, lineage uh, negative uh, stem cell antigen positive uh, ck stem cell antigen receptor positive and n category in positive and also cd45 positive this is the the markers for this uh, hematopoietic stem cells. CD4 positive cells are called T helper cells uh, designated as TH. TH. Okay. Now, the TH uh, cells can be TH1 or TH2 or T follicular um, uh, helper cells or it could be uh, T17 cells or it could be T reg cells. Uh, the Th1 cells are involved in cell mediated immunity, Th2 involved with the antibody mediated immunity that is related to the allergic reactions and here one phosphate group which is a negative charged and one phosphate group here having the negative charge. This is otherwise the positions are such a way that it holds the phosphate charge. This is the second carbon this is the sixth carbon. These originates or the positioning the whole complex into I mean the, the substrate into position. But this is the control of CDC2. So, the CDC2 is blocked by different checks here, but what we have to know is in the case I told in the case of G2 there is a spike of activity of CDC2 along with the A and B is formed. How this spike is formed? Consider the DNA is not damaged radiation damage is not there, there is a completion of DNA replication, nutritional status is there and of course, all other controls are of course. So, therefore, tyrosine 15 is in fact deposphorylated by the whatever the tyrosine 15 is there that will be deposphorylated by CDC 25 phosphatase. Highly repeated sequences if you look at this particular chromosome here, you, if you look at this, this is as a chromosome. Uh, you see here there is a centromere and centromere uh, associated with it there is a satellite DNA uh, and then you have a telomeres at the ends and then uh, hypervariable regions here and there is a secondary construction that D represents uh, dihydrouridine, dihydrouridine. So, the D loop contains the, this modified base, so it is called as a D loop. So, what is the function of D loop is that it is involved in the recognition of uh, amino acyl tRNA synthetase enzyme is in the involved in the recognition of amino acyl tRNA synthetase enzyme. So, otherwise the amino acyl tRNA synthetase recognizes this motif and binds with the tRNA it consists of approximately that uh, this D loop consists of Y8 to uh, 12 